Hi, we're at Benson's Park in scenic Hudson, New Hampshire. I'm Matt Ingersoll. And I'm Dylan Smith. And today, Dylan is going to show us a hobby of his that he enjoys called geocaching. So Dylan, what exactly is geocaching? Well, geocaching is a real-life treasure hunting game where one player hides a small container called a geocache, and several other players search for that geocache using listed clues and GPS coordinates uh, provided by the cache owner. Geocaches typically have several small trinkets, and etiquette dictates that you can take something, but you must leave something of equal or greater value. Matt has never gone geocaching before, so I set something up for him. I've hidden a small geocache in the woods that he's got to find. And on this piece of paper is everything you're going to need. So good luck. Thank you. Looking forward to it. So I guess I'm going to meet up with Dylan after I find the cache. I got the clues and the coordinates. Let's just check the map. Well, I think I know where to go. Moose Pond Trail. Vamanos. Oh, <laughs> Moose Pond Trail. I guess the first clue is to find a blueprint. I don't know what that means. We're gonna find out. You see a clue? Where? Over here? Oh, behind me. Oh, a clue. We must be getting close. Based on the coordinates, it should be up this hill. <laughs> Would you look at that? There's a trail. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe it's underneath this board. Of course, that's just what they would want me to think, wouldn't it? These cement structures look a little suspicious. Maybe it's underneath this log. <coughs> nope, I don't see anything. Gosh, where could it be? Say this. This piece of bark looks suspiciously like it's been placed here. I wonder if... Aha! Well, here's the geocache. Dylan didn't hide it very well, did he? Let's uh, crack this baby open and see what's inside. Well, looks like we got a McDonald's themed Hot Wheels car, um, a crocodile matchbox car, a marble, and a... Gee willikers! I love Passion Fit! How did Dylan know? Well, etiquette dictates, as Dylan says, that I must leave something of equal or greater value. This guitar pick was the first one that I ever owned at the age of 16. I was in a band with my friends Tom and James called Blease Block back when I first learned to play the guitar. I think I'm gonna leave this. Put this baby back where we found it and meet up with Dylan. Hey Matt. Hey. How's hey. it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, so did you find my devilishly hidden cache? Yeah, I sure did. I mean, it only took me like a few minutes to find it once I got Wait. my bearings. Just a few minutes? Yeah, I mean, I could see where you were, you know, kind of trying to throw me off with all the stuff, but I eventually it only did, really didn't take me that long to find it. It didn't take you that So it was easy to find? For the most part, yeah. <laughs> But you at least had fun, right? I sure did. Oh, well, that's good. Because, I mean, with a cache, it's, you never know what to expect. Sometimes it's like the quickest find in the world, and sometimes you have to come back another day. But usually it's still fun. Yeah. So I'm glad you had fun. Yeah, I mean, you never know what to expect, I saw. Did you like uh, what was inside? 
<laughs> yeah, I sure did. You know me too well. Geocaching is a wicked fun hobby, and if you're interested in it, uh, check geocaching.com. It's a great place to start. What he said.